Pat with Pat's Two Cents, reading from Psalms 37, verse 8. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Years ago, when I was taking care of my husband, this was shortly, maybe about six months before he passed, he called me one time. I was upstairs in the bed. I was dead asleep. I was so tired because I was like a 24-hour nurse. I never got tired of him. Let me make that clear. I love my husband. But his physical needs started to wear on me. And this was one of those times I just didn't want to be needed. <laughs> so he called me and I got out the bed. Now here's the thing. I did not fuss at him. He did not hear my tone. He didn't hear aggravation in my voice. As far as he knew, I was just being waking up out of my sleep. But God saw how I felt. Oh, man, that blows me away. That's why I deal with this stuff so much, because God is into the little details that we don't think are a big deal. And I remember I swung my feet out the bed and I whipped the blankets off in, in disgust and frustration, like, oh, my sleep gets disturbed again. <laughs> and before I could go down to see what my husband needed, the Lord popped Psalms 37 in my mind so plain as day. And I went down and took care of my husband. And then I went aside to see what the Lord wanted me to read. When I got to verse 8, it was like I got a slap on one cheek and a slap on the other. And I said, oh my goodness. I even have to watch how I feel when I deal with people. I didn't know it was that big of a deal. I was just annoyed. But that thing jumped off of me all up in my face. The Holy Spirit convicted me left and right. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. I immediately asked the Lord to forgive me because I knew I was aggravated. I knew I just, I mean, my mind was, was going on this dialogue and he doesn't realize how tired I am. Can he wait a minute and blah, 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 blah. And the Lord let me know, uh-uh, no, you don't even have that right. If you're going to be filled with the Holy Ghost and you're going to treat people with love, no, all that's got to go. Pause for the cause. A quick message from my sister, Linda. You need help knowing God? You want to know Jesus better? Have questions you might want answered? Well, I'll be willing to help you get started on the right path. Contact West Coast Time between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Ask for Linda, area code 323-251-8642. You know, it's so powerful and beautiful about God giving his word to you right on the money like that is for the next six months after God gave me that word, I didn't get irritated, annoyed, or bothered by Milton, not one bit. He went on to be with the Lord. And during that last six months, on top of that, the Lord also ignited a fresh new love where I felt like I fell in love with my husband all over again. And it was a total joy. <laughs> No irritation whatsoever. <laughs> God's word is powerful, y'all.